Alright, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Now, in today's video, we're going to be talking about is the top assault rifles right now in Warzone. Here, I'm going to be recommending you guys some overpowered assault rifles in today's video that I've seen a lot of people have been using recently in Warzone. Don't matter if it's Caldera or Rebirth Island. And especially, man, I got some best sold outs for you guys. Hit that like button on today's for some good luck for you guys. And if you guys are brand new to the channel as well, man, hit that subscribe button if you guys are brand new. And don't forget to hit that bell icon for the brand new videos that be coming on the channel. Also, leave it down in the comment section below of some guns that you guys don't see in today's video that you guys want to leave a recommendation for the next video as well man i'd like to do these top loaders for you guys always to help you guys improve out your skills in warzone but it's time right today's for all right ladies and gentlemen so the first company we're gonna be talking about is the c58 now this is kind of like the new ar meta that a lot of people have been talking about recently in warzone i don't know what's going on about it but the c58 has actually been making us all rise in appearance as the new weight now here's the best setup i'm actually gonna be recommending for you guys now of course your first assessment is going to be an hd suppressor which a lot of people 100 will recommend for every cold war gun for the assault rifle build is the agency suppressor this actually kind of helps with like any type of long distance range type of fights itself uh the barrel it's going to be is your ranger barrel now i've noticed before it used to be the task force barrel for the c58 but it actually makes this gun real heavy to kind of have us like your movement speed and it kind of jumps up a lot so if you guys kind of just like once like your low recoil type of build itself man i'm telling you 100 percent just rock at your ranger barrel you 100 percent will see a little bit of a difference with the ranger barrel than your task force barrel now the optic is really just up to you guys but i will 100 say for everybody just use the r3 times scope now if you guys are kind of like it's your vision tech or any of these other type of optics that you guys like to use on it it's really just up to you guys but 100 percent everybody would recommend is using the r3 times scope Magazine, I would recommend it's a 45 drum magazine itself. Nobody necessarily uses the standard 55 because you are losing is your ADSB on it. So I would 100% say your ADSB actually matters the most for your all your primaries itself. Now, if you guys want to rock out, is your 50 round mag for it? Go ahead, but I'm just telling you guys, your ADSB is going to be a little bit going down for it and the under barrel is going to be your field agent grab for your horizontal and your vertical recoil control okay guys so the second gun we're going to be talking about is the fair 83 now i don't know what's going on about this but i've seen a lot of people have been using this gun recently now it's nowhere near like the c58 hitting like a tank but it's kind of good it's for like it's little recoil kind of pattern kind of reminds me of the m13 but the m13 is a little bit more better than the fair 83 you guys can leave it down in the comment section below right now what do you guys think it's a little bit more better the fair 83 or the M13. Now, the first test we're gonna be talking about is the course screw suppressor, kind of like the ADT suppressor. Uh, barrel is gonna be is a Spadnass RPK barrel. The difference between this barrel, different with the Task Force barrels itself on the C58, is because the C58 kind of got like a little recoil adjustment, so like a while back, like a month ago. But I will 100% say this use your uh, Spadnass RPK barrel on the Fair. Um, optic is really just up to you guys. Now, the magazine itself on the Fair 83 is up to you guys, but I, of course, was using this 60 round magazine. I kind of do think with the Fair 83, kind of since it kind of has like a fast um, fire rate on itself, you kind of do run that ammo a little bit more faster with the 45. So I 100% say just rock it's a 60 round mag on the Fair. And of course, for the underbarrel, it's going to be a suspended ass grip, which actually is kind of like your fillet grip for your horizontal and your vertical recoil control. Okay, guys, so the next thing we're going to be talking about is the Kilo 141. Now, I don't know what's going on about the Kilo, but apparently, it got like a little secret buff to it. And apparently, it's been slapping recently in Warzone. A lot of people have been talking about it. Jay got swag. Everybody's been talking about the Kilo. But uh, here it's going to be the best setup for you guys. So, of course, you guys, your Monolith Fix Suppressor for your damage range. Kind of like it's the Cold War AGT Suppressor. But it doesn't have as much boost than with the AGT Suppressor. But it just only just gives you your little damage range. Now, for the barrel, it's going to be your Shangar Arm 19.8 Prowler Barrel, which is actually going to help us with your damage range, your bullet velocity, and your vehicle control. By far, it's actually going to be the best barrels to do rock for the kilo it's actually what's make the kilo hit like a tank for any type of long distance range type of fight um i think this is really just up to you guys but i would kind of would say for since it's going to be like a long distance gunfight for warzone scene your vlk three time optic scope is going to be a little bit better but a lot of people like to switch out for your vlk for your combat um hollow sight which a lot of people can say like it's like it's like a little bit difference between with these type of optics sites itself i would kind of prefer your modern warfare optics over your core war and your vanguard ones i don't know man you guys can let me know down in the comment section below about that as well man your magazine is of course going to be a 60 round mag that's the difference between your modern warfare guns and your core war guns your adsp on your modern warfare guns doesn't have more of a penalty for them but the core war guns have a lot of them and i don't know what's going on about them i do hope they kind of make that a little bit adjustment in the nearest future and your underbar is going to be your commander foreground for your recoil stabilization and your aim instability. Okay, guys, so the next thing we're going to be talking about is the Cold War AK-47. Now, this actually is still a pretty good gun, even as a lot of people actually stop talking about it. Now, of course, for the first attack, it's going to be your cruiser suppressor. 
Barrel is going to be a suspended ass RPK barrel. Optic is still going to be the same. Your three time optic scope. Magazine is going to be some 45 round mag. And the close 50 under barrel is going to be a suspended ass grip. I don't know, man. Like I said, most of these guns for like your Vanguard guns, they're, they're not keeping up with none of these other Cold War and their modern warfare guns recently. All right, guys, then our last gun we're going to be talking about is, of course, is the Grav 5.56. Now, a lot of people, they still just love the Grav. I don't know what's going on about the Grav, but apparently a lot of people just still want to use it now and as of today. It still hits heavy as a tank, still good for like a slow recoil itself, but I don't know, man. Sooner or later, man, the Grav is going to, it's going to be taking over the war scene once again, and I do hope that it actually does. Now, first test, we're going to be some other expressive damage range. Barrel is going to be the Tempest um, 26.4 Archangel Barrel, where it's helps with your damage range, bullet velocity, and your vehicle control. Kind of like the Kilo Shinkar Arm Prowler Barrel. Like I said, man, these are kind of the best barrels to do rock for your modern warfare guns. It's especially if you don't have like a good barrel for your modern warfare guns, man, just don't recommend just using them. They just like a barrel is what kind of helps out with this TTK, and I see what it helps it does. It hits like a tank. Um, VOK, now this is really just up to you guys if you guys want to rock an optic. I 100% say just don't because the Graw Iron Sights itself is pretty good. But if you guys can't see for like a long distance range fight, and I'm only just saying this just for like your console players because your console players, you guys can barely see as well if like a PC player sees from like a long distance range fight. Just really just rock as like your VLK or your combat scout. Now, if you kind of like me on PC, you guys can see from like a far distance range fight, just kind of just take off your optic and just rock as like, of course, like your rear grip. Or if you guys want to rock us like a stock for like help out with the recoil itself, itself it's kind of rock us like your blackjack, which actually just helps with your aim and stability. Like I said, it's kind of like a different type of class up with most of these guns. It's, it's just if you guys don't like the class up you guys don't see in today's video, these are going to be some guns that I 100% recommend that you guys should 100% rock right now at this current time. So I'm going to wrap up you guys. Hope you guys actually did enjoy today's video, man, with the top five best overpower loadout. But if you guys want to see any more guns like this, man, leave it down in the comment section below of some guns you guys want to recommend for the next video. But as always, enjoy today's video.